Hello everyone and welcome back to the 23 part tutorial of how to model basketball court arena We're gonna continue with our model this time what I want to do is uh, start building up the wheels back here and um, The stand I mean this part that uh, it Stands on top of it now basically there should be a Second send of set of wheels inside there. I don't want to create them. I think uh, it's a little bit over too much for this model we have a lot of things to add i mean all those paddings um that covers this and had a little bit more work on top of our backboard and a few other features there and the main reason that i don't want to enter into this area where i start building up the inner parts is basically i don't really have the map of how this structured and I think that uh, because we are gonna covering it, uh, it should be enough. Uh, I mean, the overall look we already got it, though I will need to think of this. I mean, I, I don't want to really make all of this. Uh, I think that some things here I won't be able to construct as as they should be uh, look like. So uh, let's leave it for now. We will only concentrate on this first. I'm gonna open up the reference picture this leg here okay I want to create it and the wheels there are pair set of wheels so two and two here uh, and there are the inner ones that I want to I don't want to create them because uh, we don't need them we need almost only those um, if you're into this structure all this part and all the springs inside there suit yourself I think uh, that will be great, though uh, it's just a little bit too much already for this uh, tutorial, so let's try to uh, skip a few things in order to get in progress there. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna just concentrate on this. I wanna just talk about something. Oh, there is a plane. Anyway, we have this pipe here, and here it looks like something that's screwed, okay? It's some kind of a, I mean, you can... Uh, set this leg by screwing it in inside and outside in order to uh, set the height, okay? So basically um, This is a pipe here and here there is some kind of a bolt and then this is uh, The screw part and this is the pad that it sits on So we're gonna try and do something similar here with this one so what I want you to do here, um, I'm gonna do something that uh, I'm gonna take this part here, and I'm gonna press three to smooth preview it first. And I know that I have some problem here. I'm missing uh, a few edge loops, and I need to uh, fix this. I will obtain this in a second. Okay, here you see this part here. It's a little bit smoothed here. That means that something here is missing, some edge loop. So basically, it's edge loop that's supposed to be exactly here. Okay. Now, if you take a look at the overall, it goes like this, and it goes through this two guys, and then continuing and continuing to there. Okay, until here. So now we have one here, but we don't have the extra one that if we will mirror this we will need to have another one exactly here so here I have three to connect to and here I have three as well so I probably won't add another one maybe it's already been added I think I don't know maybe it does yeah it does because I already I had to add three edges also at the outside or outside uh, here, so I don't need to add another one. So Now we're gonna create this and what I want to do here is I want to Press 3 to smooth preview it and I want to grab those two edges You see these one shift double click on this one shift double click on this one and I want to delete them that way press F1 to non smooth preview it and I'm gonna add I'm gonna grab this edge, control right click, edge ring utilities to edge ring and split. I wanna create a middle one that will be um, at the middle following those two uh, hard edges that's supposed to be here, okay? And now I will add an offset edge 
so it will be equal so I'm gonna add those two that way so now I have exactly same area in those two pieces here I'm gonna right click choose edge switch to selection tool grab this edge here control right click edge ring utilities to edge ring and split so I have this that way I'm gonna press 3 to smooth preview it and you can see that now we have um, this frame here see this frame here now we wanna do the same thing that we done with the pivots in order to create a circle here this circle will be used as the pipe okay so we're gonna right click choose vertex we're gonna grab this vertex shift right click jump for vertex and I press one to non-smooth preview it and I'm gonna grab these two vertices and simply squeeze them so it will look like a square even square something like that now I'll switch to selection tool grab those two as well so four of them selected and I'm scaled them uniformly that way so now the space here you see this edge little edge here and there it's the same this is because I deleted the other ones that wasn't even okay and then I created the middle one and add the offset edge loop so they had the same space in between them and this is really what I want to, s to see here so I'm gonna scale this a little bit downwards that way press 3 1 again let's delete this face press 3 and like to, let's have a look on this circle so it's not perfect circle and I still need to add those extra edges here okay so what I will do I will go over mesh um, multi cut tool and let's do the same thing as we already been practice I'm gonna click here click here find the 50 point release and right click to close this line you can use the construction history in order to uh, make it exactly where it should be so 50 right click just undid something there because it wasn't attached to this vertex here must make sure that it does so click here slide it and release wait this guy is funny I'm telling you he's everyday coming right click and there you go he will shout a little bit more but excuse him okay so I grabbed four of those vertices and what I want to do is want to scale them that way and if you feel that they need a little bit squished that way that's also good press 3 just to make sure you see the circle and it's perfectly done okay now you see the this problem here I didn't attach this when I created this line it's it hasn't been attached to the vertex so I'm gonna fix this right now I'm gonna zoom in here to have a look I'm gonna grab this one you know what I'm gonna use the merge vertex tool and extrude this uh, merge this and align this so now if I'll press 3 it will look better and just to make sure that this is a perfect circle I have the illusion that it's a little bit ellipse but it's because of the depth inside there so it's not bad that's actually good I'm gonna non-smooth preview and you grab this edge extrude it once switch to move tool and extrude it that way so now it, it goes downwards that way right something like so it's enough now this one is a little bit tricky um, I'm gonna extrude and I'm gonna switch to scale tool and uniformly uh, open this up that way okay I want you to pay very close attention to this because this is really important I'm just extruding this a little bit out that way 
and then extruding it once more, switch to scale tool and extruding it just a little bit more out. Now I'm extruding it this a little bit more out, so extrude and scale tool. So you see what I have? I have like this edge here, this one is the corner one, this is the one that should support it, this one should support this one. And now I will extrude once again, switch to move tool and we'll create the supporting one for that that one okay I'm gonna zoom in and explain this better we have this corner one and we need here one that will support it but I will do this later now I already create this one to support this one I created this one to support this one and this one to support this one as well now I can extrude it safely a little bit that way and I will need to match the same thing that I've done so first of all this will be the height of this let's say something like so I'm gonna extrude it once more and add a little bit more that way so this one now will support this one and now I know that I have like if I'm facing my camera that way I have one one two three four I need to create four rows of edges the same way so I'm gonna switch to top view in order to see this better and I will need to very much zoom in inside there and switch to shading x-ray now with that done um, let me first bring it back over here I wanna scale this and have a look no I need to extrude it first so sorry about that, I need to extrude, switch to scale tool, switch to the top, view, top view, and you see the brown one, okay, the brown one here, it should be set to this one here, okay, so in order to make it even, and then extrude it once again, switch to scale tool, now I'm extruding it to that one okay it's hiding so I will squeeze it a little bit more so you can see it this will be on top of this one there extrude it once more switch to scale tool uniformly again to this one okay and I will switch to the four view so to this perspective view so you can see this better okay so now we have this one two three four same as here one two three four okay the fifth one is the supporting from this side it's this one okay that's good now I'm gonna extrude it once more and this time I'm gonna switch to scale tool and move it scale it that way okay so now this is the screwing leg, okay, and it should be inserted there inside, though I don't want to really have too much work in this. I'm going to extrude it once more and lift it up, but it's actually down, and I'm going to rotate my camera that way, so this is basically how it should look like, and I'm going to extrude this just a little bit downwards extrude it once more a little bit more downwards and I'm gonna expand it with the scale tool that way to give it a cone look extrude it once more switch to scale tool open this up just a little bit that way okay that way extrude once more and open this up just about so I'm gonna open the reference picture so you will be able to understand you see this cone area here okay this is the area that the leg is screwing to this uh, this you know piece of circular metal here the pad or whatever so we must create this cone because this is how the leg is screwed to this thing here so with that done um, you know you can actually create some frame here and then create a cone I mean something like if I will undo that 
uh, it will look like. So, that way, I will have to add some extra edge loop here, but then I can extrude it that way and create the cone. Okay, so giving you the feeling that it's screwed somewhere inside there. So you can like add two edge loops here, one here, one there, and one here, three edge loops, and you can safely grab this face, double click on this one, and simply just switch to move tool and bring this downwards that way, but one step, extrude it, switch to move tool, extrude it a little bit downwards and extrude it once more and you know I want to extrude this once more I just press F8 and I will add two edge loops here to support this surface there so the edge loop here and there so if I press sorry 3 so it will look like this okay and we will have something to believe that it's going inside there. Anyway, it's just a minor detail. I'm not sure you really want to do this. Um, anyway, let's continue. Grab this one, extrude it, switch to move tool, expand it that way, or maybe you know, I will undo that, switch to one, exit smooth preview mode, create this edge here to support this one. I will need to add one more, but I'm going to extrude it once more, and then I will do that way. And then you can grab this face, double click on this face, extrude this as faces. Just a little bit downwards that way. Oh no, no, you know what? I'm going to do this differently. I'm going to grab this one, extrude it. Switch to move tool, extrude it that way. Let's say that this is good. Let's extrude it once more. Switch to move tool, scale tool, do something like so to support these. Extrude it once more. Switch to scale tool, do something like so if you really like. And yeah, I think I will add like there is some rubber uh, surface here so I'm gonna try and bring this that way I'm gonna extrude it downwards there is some few more edge loops that I will have to add er later so that way extruding this inwards just a little bit Again, switch to scale tool. I will zoom in so you will be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm basically creating this edge, the sharp edge. This is the sharp. Okay, sorry. This one is sharp edge, so it has a support one. This is the other support for the next one that we'll uh, do in a second. That way, extrude it. Bring it just a little bit up to create another support one. Extrude once more. Bring it that height. Now you can hold on the V and try and match this to the support edge loop there. It will be a little bit hard. I'm going to extrude it once more. Do something like so, extrude it once more, switch to move to scale tool, do something like so, and then add it to mesh or mesh, fill hole, grab this face, add it mesh, poke. Okay, let's take a look, the second look, because I know it's it was a little bit hard to see this. So we have you just need to make sure that you have for each sharp corner that you want to have to supporting edge loop. So this is the sharp. We have one and two. 
this is the sharp there we have one and two okay and this one is for that sharp one but apparently we are missing one there so I'm gonna add this manually shift right click insert edge loop now you can always grab edges and slide them so if it looks like this one is a little bit uh, you know very far away okay it's a little bit hard to select them that way no never mind let's keep it that way I need to add another one here I'll press 3 and that way I will be able to see if it looks good so you see I'm missing a few here I'm gonna add two edge loops one here and one here to support it one here but here I don't want to add another one I want to extrude these faces so I'm gonna grab this face shift double click on this face extrude this upwards switch to move tool and bring it up that way okay press F8 let's add a few edge loops one here and here I will do that one in here and here now the only one I'm missing is that one here there let's add one over here make sure that this will remain sharp this one already added let's press 3 and have a look yeah so maybe I could create this a little bit more thicker I mean it's just a little bit tinier than what's going on here I'm gonna undo that let's undo whatever I've done here I'm gonna add two more edge loops one here and one there one here grab those faces extrude them upwards just the same as I did but a little bit quicker okay this one and that one so now it's much better I think as for the overall let's have a look I think I'm missing here an edge loop okay and press F8 so this is how it looks now I'm missing one edge loop here so we will deal with this in a second I want to pause the video and I want to open the door for my cat and I will be right back okay sorry so the door has been opened and the cat has been entered and we can continue with this so I'm missing a few edge loops here and the cat is yelling I don't know she has a uh, mental issues um, here and there all right now with that done there is something that I'm really into uh, experimental thing and I'm gonna wrap the part of this tutorial after this uh, but uh, please pay attention closely for this one uh, just make sure that I have enough edges there yeah and maybe enough edges here no I'm, I'm obviously missing something here I'm gonna add edge loops here see this one so now it's a little bit better and I want I still want to have the same <coughs> one two three four and the same there okay so see one one two three four I'm gonna grab this edge and double click on this edge here and I'm gonna do the same to all of them 
here and double click on this one. So you see I'm selecting this and whatever between these, okay? Shift select this, double click on this one. So everything in between being selected. Okay, this one and double click on this one. And click on this one and double click on this one. Click on this one, double click on this one. Click on this one, same goes here. And the last set. Okay, now with all those selected, shift right click and choose bevel edge options. Okay, you wanna make sure you add two segments and click apply. Okay, this can cause whatever just happened. Okay, our entire shape has become transparent uh, except a few faces. My cat is just bothering me. I will silence her and came, come back. Shut up after I pose. It was weird. Press F8. Right click, choose assign existing material, which is the default Lambert again. So it will bring back the color to the shape. And what I want to do is right click, choose edge. Oh my God, why, why have I done this? Oh, I already added those, so that's okay. <coughs> I just want to pay attention to what's going on here. Uh, you see what it does? It just beveled this edge and created basically three. So right now, if I press three, this is how it will look like, okay? And this is basically what I'm intending to do. Now, the only problem with this is that it's not following the topology rule. So we have few faces here that are uh, basically acting like triangles or more than triangles, like faces with five vertices. So you can check this. You can right click, choose vertex, and you can see we have three here. So what you can do here is grab this edge and this edge, and grab here, this edge and this edge. Okay, we will do this only on this part. You will continue to the all of them. Shift right click and delete edge. So what will happen now, we will have one here, which is containing four vertices, one, two, three, four, right? And if I will close this, uh, just snap it back to uh, exit smooth preview. But what happens is that <coughs> these two here, um, are basically creating, oh my god, wait. This faces becomes faces with five, okay? So this is the only problem we have here. So we need to fix this and make sure that this is really everything following the, the topology rule. So we can basically come and let's see. I want to connect this to that, okay? I'm gonna go over mesh, uh, let's see, where is it? Multicut tool, okay? Okay, I'm not sure why it's doing those things to me right now. I'm gonna click on this here, okay, you see? And click here, and right click to close this. I'm gonna click here, and click here, and close this. So now we have triangles here. Only thing we need to do is grab this edge here, shift, right click, delete edge, okay? So this become face with four vertices, one, two, three, and four, okay? These become, became four as well. Everything became well, four. So this is the same procedure you will have to do for all of them. I am gonna do this right now. It's just a little bit too much for me, but I'm just showing you how you can work this out to maintain topology. So now it will look that way, but I'm sure that after you will fix uh, all of them also at this part here, so it will look good, okay? So this is it for this part. I'm gonna add uh, one edge loop here, that uh, maybe two, let's see one here, and uh, 
and yeah, one here to maintain this area. So that's fine. Press F8. Now, you can always come and grab those vertices. I mean, sit smooth preview, first of all. Grab those vertices and pull them up. Just to make sure that it's really uh, the same thing. You see, it's very thick, this gray area there. Okay, it has a little bit more thickness to it. So, trying to match this these kind of stuff. Something like so, it's fair enough. We can press 3 and have a look on this. I'm going to remove the wireframe because I want to see that that way. See? And that's all good. Now, if you're really into this, uh, you know, more detailing, <laughs> which I'm not sure why you want to do this, but you can also add a little bit more, uh, you know, detail that way, like grabbing this face here, double click on it, and extrude it a little bit inwards, inside. Uh, that way, and extrude it maybe once more. Press F8. I'm gonna add insert add loop here. I'm gonna zoom in there so I can work this stuff out. See one there, one at the other side, and yeah, maybe from this side it should get one more. Let's have a look. Where is it? Yeah, it should get one more here. I will go through inside and add it here and add it here. See, this is the part that we just extruded inside this thing here. So one from the inside that way, one here, and press 3. Now this is really if you're fanatic about all those little stuff, but I think the overall, the overall looks pretty nice. So, um, yeah, uh, one more thing, you may want to <laughs> make sure that the pad is uh, a little bit more, I mean the diameter is a little bit more expanded, so don't do it like the same size that I've done it. Here you see it should be a little bit more big. I've done this a little bit tinier that way. Not sure how I missed it, but yeah. Anyway, that's fine. Press F8. Uh, I may fix it later on, at least for the sake of the sake of my own model. Okay, and we will continue the next part and create those two. Uh, set of wheels, okay? Over here. Yep. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and see you soon at the next part.